Uh, the important thing is we're laughing, folks, and that's all we need to do tonight. The important to laugh is the only way we have to dissipate the stress and the tension of the world we live in today. Would you not agree? You know, the last couple of years, this planet has seen pretty much every plague known to man, has it not? We have seen plagues of biblical proportions on this little rock. North America, we've had firestorms, mad cow, SARS, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods in Europe, ground Africa, tsunamis, bat viruses in China. I think it's clear, ladies and gentlemen, we have to free the Jews. <laughs> so if you have me at home, I'm just saying, please, let them go, would you? Because Moses is pissed off and he's coming this way. That's Old Testament humor, by the way. Not a lot of comics dare to do Old Testament humor anymore. <laughs> this mediocre response could be the reason, I suspect. <laughs> but still, it used to be a very popular book before that Jesus kid came along, huh? You guys all Jesus fans? Of course you are. <laughs> Western society, we bought Jesus big time over here, didn't we? Western world. Because you know why? Again, commercialized. They got the best pitch ever. And they know when to pitch it, too, when you're a kid. That's when you're most susceptible there, huh? They've got, hey, kid, you want to follow the teachings of Jesus and be a Christian? And why should I? Because on his birthday, we give you gifts. <laughs> Tell me more about this Jesus character. <laughs> That's the story of Christmas. My favorite Jesus story, of course, is Easter. I think everybody's favorite Jesus story is Easter. Okay, I'll just carry on on my own there. But I'm just saying, yeah, and you know, Easter, most people think it's just a Sunday, but it's a whole weekend. It's Easter weekend. It's not Easter Sunday, it's Easter weekend. Because on Friday, of course, that's where they crucified Jesus, and they lanced him, and he died on the cross, and they took him down, and they buried him Friday evening. And Saturday morning, the uh, apostles got together, and Paul said, look, he had a pretty big day yesterday. I don't think he's going to get up till tomorrow morning. So uh, what do you say we twist up a few and have a 420 day, huh? And, uh, and of course, Sunday, that's the big day. We all know the Sunday part of the story. That's where Jesus arose from the dead and tried to get out of town with all the chocolates, but the little egg chocolates would fall through the holes in his hands, and the children would find them. And that's why the children love Jesus. And a bunny would follow behind him with a basket and pick up the eggs and quietly put them on the straw so the Romans couldn't follow him out of town. And they were looking for him because of the early checkout. Guys didn't know this? Oh, you're just being skeptical, that's right. Oh yeah, Rob, well explain the chocolate ducks, huh? Makes sense out of that, would you? Jesus wasn't walking on water, he was standing on two ducks. It's no miracle to drown two ducks. So they're boiling for a while, then you get another two ducks. Yeah, yeah, I've been waiting for you too, thank you. You're immortalizing yourself on my album, you cunt. I like you people. Before you all leave tonight, drop off a DNA sample there to Bob. I want to clone your asses and get a big bus. Take you everywhere I go. Some of us won't be cloned as many times as others. <laughs> we're, really, we're looking for the don't interrupt gene. 